Today is Tuesday, April 14th, week three, and lesson two of our digital online learning segment of the school year. So we're gonna walk through our agenda today. We're gonna do our what, why, and how. You have some no reading to do. We're gonna do a little bit of a preview of where we're going this week. I kind of talked a little bit about it in our short video yesterday. Um, we're going to talk about coming of age, and you have a reading to do that I am going to show you. And then we are going to do a really short reading about um, an individual in Malaysia that I'm also going to show you. So what are we doing? Why are we doing it? How are you going to know that you've done what you needed to do? So the biggie today is that we're going to talk about coming of age. We're going to talk about um, this idea of the transition to adulthood and that term, what it means to come of age, okay? Why are we doing this? We, right, myself, Mr. McCauley, Miss Lindemuth, Miss Worth, Miss Loudy, we want to give you a more well-rounded understanding of what it means to come of age or to become an adult around the world, right? So today's big thing is just for you to start thinking about what it means um, to be of age. What does it mean in your family? What does it mean in your culture? What does it mean in your religion, your state, your country? Okay. What it means to be an adult in Wisconsin might be different than what it means to be an adult in Florida or Georgia. Okay. So the first thing you're going to start with today is no red ink. I'd like you to find a cozy spot to work and just get right to work doing your no red ink. You're going to see that you have a new assignment called Verb Tenses Practice 1. Um, that is what you are going to work on today, and you will have another piece for no red ink on Thursday. So coming of age around the world. Here is why I chose this theme. <laughs> for my slides this week, um, basically for this picture with this background. I don't know why, but this is, I was like obsessed with it. So I tried really hard to get the one pin right around Wisconsin, right around Beaver Dam, thinking about what it means to be an adult in our culture versus what it means to be an adult in other cultures. So coming of age stories are really typical, especially for middle schoolers to read where you have a main character that is learning about what it means to become an adult and they sort of have to face a challenge or um, some knowledge or something like that that makes them go from being an innocent kid to you know an all-knowing adult okay so we're going to be talking first about malaysia we are also going to be talking about Latin American countries and Japan this week. Um, so Malaysia, you're going to see here, we can see some of the homes in Malaysia, right? This is just an example of the more rural um, communities in Malaysia. So the girl that you're going to read about today lives in rural Malaysia. There are some bigger cities in Malaysia that are like big, like bopping cities, right? They got lights, they got buildings. They kind of look like Dubai and the United Arab Emirates, right? They're bright. There's beautiful boats on the water. There's giant, massive hotels and casinos. But where we're talking about in Malaysia today with our um, sort of main focus is um, this young girl who lives in rural Malaysia, okay? So, I just want to show you guys what we're having to do. In Google Classroom, you're going to see there's this doc called Coming of Age. And what this is going to discuss with you is basically what is coming of age. We've been talking about approaching adulthood, which means getting closer and closer to adulthood. What is this moment of someone has hit adulthood, okay? And how is that different in different places in the world? We're going to talk about some examples um, that define the expression of age. And then there are just some examples for you to look at and read about. It's only a page long. And the other piece you're going to read for today is um, labeled Tuesday Malaysia. And it is about our young friend, Nur who is a young, here she is, she is a young girl in Malaysia, in Kelantan? I don't know how you'd actually say that. I tried, though, so I should get some props, right? 
And this is going to talk about she is considered almost an adult at 11. So this really brief little piece right here is going to talk to you about adulthood in Malaysia and what it means to come of age. So that is your task for today. You don't have anything due other than your no red ink. Please read and think with an open mind about the things that you're reading as we go through this week. And please don't hesitate to ask questions.